now we are going to talk about how we are going to do mass change on purchase acquisition okay so the purchase acquisition would be plus two zero two one zero five okay so here you can see now here we'll just go and execute and we'll try to change this change some field so we'll try, try to change three fields too in this in this exercise we'll try to change probably the purchasing group i'll change the short description and also we'll try to change probably one of these valuation price okay let's see but what we are probably we can change the quantity so let's go and try to find some uh, purchase acquisition that we are going to change so we are going to open a transaction sc 16 and we go to eban table And here we just uh, execute. We try probably there's enough. Oh, we have a lot of PREX that can be changed. Okay, so now let's go. We are going to pick up settings and we are going to bring in some fields that we are going to change. So we are going to bring Dan FN. We'll do this one and we are going to change the short text and we are going to change the purchasing group and we are going to change probably the requisitioner and we are going to change so let's change four and the other one was the you not unit of measure we are going to change the quantity so it would be at the M -E -N -G -E. And E and G G and so here we'll select this and we'll click apply. So here are all the things that we are going to. So there's a lot of things. Let's do one thing. We just hit control and we select a bunch. Now we go here. That's the way to go. So that you know, and you can do mass stuff. So I think there is a limit of thousand records per per mass transaction. So here, so first thing we are going to change is the purchasing group. We go here and we select purchase acquisition. We'll execute this and save this. Now we'll select the purchasing group. Let's see if we pick some purchasing group different. We'll put three. And in the meantime, we have one here, a bunch of ones. So we we'll do a mass change, click on save. And we, I like to see when things are changing here. So if you see things are changing, not yet. So there are some issues. So it's churning, churning, churning. Oops, there's a bunch of errors. Could not be affected. Okay, so there's lots of changes that could not be done. Probably nothing. Yes, some got updated, you see, but some didn't. Okay, which is fine. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to change some of this requisitioner field now. So we're going to go back and here we are going to suppose change. Uh, requisition or we'll just change the short text now for the time being okay so we will populate the same field here same prx numbers and we'll change the short description test pr change and we'll click this and we'll click on save and we'll see whether it's getting updated or not yes see it's getting updated it's pretty fast but now some of this may not get updated because these i think is material numbers, so we can't get it updated it has material numbers, so so this is uh, this is good that's a good test so now the next thing we are going to do is the requisitioner field which would be the f name uh, Oh, it's not there or what? Hmm. It's 
not there right now. So the requisition or feed for some reason is not there. Uh, so now we can do the MENG field. Okay. MENG. So it's quantity. And we we'll probably spike it up. Uh, we'll populate this field. The purchase requisition numbers. And now we'll execute and we'll try to add some quantity. So we'll put the 100,000. Ooh, that would spike up the dollar values. Okay, quantity. We have the quantity. Let me see. We have a valuation price somewhere. Uh, it will also multiply, I think. Valuation price. Yes. So you have this. So let's see whether it multiplies or not. So we will save it. So you know sometimes the quantity you don't have to, but I want to show you uh, that the other fields also gets updated. Okay, so uh, so valuation. So you see all some of these fields are getting updated. So it's very important. So everything is getting updated. I think I need the total valuation price Where is total value See here, this got multiplied completely. So, yeah, so it, it, it matters a lot. You're changing stuff and it got multiplied. So, this is something some of them could not be updated, some got updated, you know. So, so these, these, these are some of the changes that we did. Uh, so, uh, purchase acquisition mass change will happen when you know there is change in the purchasing group these are some of the stuffs that you will be updating like the change in description and so on and so forth so those are very important stuff so this covers everything on mass change of purchase requisition